The image that haunts me is not beautiful I do not think it will open into a field of wildflowers. I doubt that it will take wing suddenly, startling us into admiration it is one of those brutish facts of life. The awkward nakedness of the memory when it takes off its clothes and crawls between the top and bottom sheet. Or rather, it is my mother's memory that I carry, pressed into my own. How at her grandfather's funeral, his daughter my mother's mother stood at an open door and cried, and then the blood ran down her legs, gushing from the womb where thirteen children had nestled. And now, at once horrified and at ease with Herbody's impropriety, they gathered all around. This was the grandmother who lost three of Thorsa thirteen, who hung a million baskets of wash, who peeled a million potatoes, and splattered her arms with the grease of constant cooking. This was my grandmother who kept chickens, who left her voice in the throats of all my aunts, and was struck down in the cellar, legs twisted beneath the fall and half her face stiff and helpless until they found her, the jar of canned fruit smashed on the cement. And then at her funeral, I saw my mother's tears gliding ahead of me in a black limousine, a procession not beautiful but haunting, 